Boko Haram kills 30 soldiers in another deadly strike. Welcome to the news. The incident, according to sources, took place between Mate de Kwa Council areas, when the insurgents fired rocket launchers at military trucks, which culminated into sporadic shootings, killing troops who were being conveyed from Mate local government area to Meduguri. Mate, about 180 kilometers north from Meduguri, remained one of the council areas of Bono that is not fully occupied by civilian population. As most of its people are displaced and taken refuge in Mongono and some parts of Meduguri environs. Initially, reliable source told our, told our correspondents that 16 soldiers lost their lives in the ambush, but it was later learned on Saturday evening from another source that about 30 soldiers were killed, with others sustained gunshot injuries. What happened to troops along Mati Dikwa Axis was very devastating sounding a warning that the end to terrorists is not realistic. Some soldiers who have spent quite a number of time were given pass to pay visits to their families and loved ones. Unfortunately, while they were on their way from Marte to Medugri, they were ambushed by suspected armed ice warp who fired the rocket launchers on the trunks, conveying them, leaving about 30 soldiers dead, even as some are still missing in action, reliable source said. All efforts to get confirmation from the pub, pub, police public relations officer proved abortive at press time. When the military spokesman department are yet to issue a statement on the matter. This is quite very, very, very saddening. This is saddening because the people of Nigeria have been, have been screaming out. They have been saying since the names of these people were claimed, since they, they, they surrendered. How, how, how? I don't understand. Some of these members now surrender. Some of these terrorists surrender to the Nigerian army. And what did we do? We welcomed them with open arms like a prodigal son. Threw a party for them. Welcomed them in. And news is going around that they are going to be still put into the Nigerian army. Now, I want to ask, if nobody tipped them off and they, according to the news, that particular area was not dwelled by civilian because those, they were already displaced, they already displaced. That um, particular area have been ambushed by the same bandits and that place is a lonely place. Who now tipped this particular people, terrorist group, off that so 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 and so people we are going to go through their roots. What are we not saying? What are we not saying? Lives will continue to be lost because the federal government has refused to do anything about this thing. They keep saying they are peaceful. They keep saying they are forgiving them. They keep saying that they, they, they don't mean harm. They are not a terrorist. They are not a terrorist group. We keep losing people every day on a daily basis. But the one that is carried by the news and the one that is not carried by the news. What is really going on? Me, I believe that if the federal government want to really end this matter of insurgency, these bandits, this ISWAP, this Boko Haram, these terrorist groups, they will do so in less than a week. They will do so. Why are they, why are they, why are they for, for goodness sake putting the lives of citizens because these, these citizens are not, are not members of their family. They are not members of their family. That is why this will continue to go on. This is so unfair and unjust. Now tell me, if, if this so-called so uh, um, particular group now, these soldiers that were killed now, they were being conveyed from, from Matai to, to Meduguri, and nobody knows about it, how would the ambush had, have happened? How? It is so unfair. Just because people are not members of a family, then we turn a deaf and blind eye to where, how they are being butchered every day by bandits, by terrorist group. And the federal government keeps saying that these people are not terrorist group. It is rather unfair. It is so disheartening. If this is true, it is very sad 
and demoralizing, losing our Nigerian soldiers frequently to Boko Haram's. May God Almighty urgently rescue Nigeria from the scourge of BH and other evil vices. This is what we ourselves can do. This is what we can, we can stop this if we really want to stop this. But no, the federal government choose to always pamper. Like the prodigal son, if they surrender, they'll throw a party for them, walk on them home and continue feeding them and continue stuffing food into their mouth and continue giving them goodies. Like they are being applauded for what they did. This is so unfair. Government win name sponsors of the killings, but killing youth in the south hits east. This is the result. This is harder. This is rather. This is rather unfair. If this happens in any other tribes in Nigeria, for goodness sake, the hell would have been hell. The 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 hell would have been let loose. You will see all members of the ministry. You will see them. At that particular or at those at those particular place, they will be molesting people, both those involved, both the areas that that, that, that this this particular um, ambush happened, and areas that it did not happen. They will all be there, making sure that they treat those people so badly. They will even kill and kill the innocents. At the end of the day, what is going on? What is going on? I thought they said Boko Haram is now weak, that they are going after soft targets. Are all these soldiers that have been killing and the barracks that have been destroying also soft targets? I am exactly my point. They are saying they are now weak and they won't ambush, but still yet they keep proving them wrong. Their days are numbered. To can kind of fighter jets will do the pounding in the language they understand. I just pray that their days are truly numbers. The Nigerian army are not serious. They are wasting the life of our gallant officers and soldiers. Why can't they chopper to confine our officers and soldiers from A from point A to point B? That is a question that only the Nigerian army can answer. If it were in the southern part of Nigeria, this happened. The soldiers would have wiped out all surrounding villages. That was exactly what I was saying. 